Welcome back to another MixLessons.com video quick tip. Today we are talking reverb, uh, in particular uh, convolution reverb. What is it? How does it differ from algorithmic reverb? <clears throat> and um, when might you choose to use it? So what I've got going on on the screen here is um, another track by an artist that I mixed recently named Katrina James. Um, this tune is called Away, and I'll play a little bit of it at some point in the video. Um, I'm going to use this as our guinea pig today to demonstrate convolution reverb. So what convolution reverb is, uh, uh, is... It's basically it's a snapshot of an, a, a physical acoustic environment. Um, the uh, the proper term is an impulse response. So what what will happen is is an engineer will set up a, se a series of microphones to capture the sound of a space. Um, they'll 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 create some sound to excite the room, typically like a cap gun or a starting pistol or or something of that nature, pop a balloon, something like that, um, that will excite the room and get the, uh, um, get the allow the mics the ability to capture what that particular acoustic environment sounds like. Um, then there's a bit of a complicated process of removing the original sound, so what you're left with is just the reverberation of that physical space. Um, they compile that into what's referred to as an impulse response, and then you're able to use that in your mixes in your DAW. It's really amazing when you think about it. So the the you'll you'll find typically convolution reverbs have a little bit less in terms of controls and fine tuning abilities. Um, some of them do. The, the one that uh, you see on the screen here is uh, called Reverence, and that's a part of the Cubase VST package um, that ships with Cubase six. And uh, so what we're doing here, the, the the result basically is that you get a very very natural um, and real reverb basically of a proper physical actual physical environment um the other type of reverb is what's referred to as an algorithmic reverb and an algorithmic reverb is typically um it's a mathematical algorithm that gets applied to the signal to mimic uh reverb basically to create the impression of reverb um algorithm al algorithmic reverbs by their very nature are much more editable. You can really tweak and dial and change the sounds of, of every aspect of that reverb. Um, a convolution reverb by its very nature is is meant to be a true representation of a real physical space. So let's have a listen to a little bit of this uh, this tune by Katrina and just so you can get a vibe for what we're working with here. Okay. So I've got Reverence uh, set up as an insert on the vocal track here. So let me just solo the vocal real quick. So Reverence at the moment, as you can see right here, is bypassed. Okay, let's bring it in. What we've got, before I bring it in, what we've got going on here is an impulse response of an LA studio. Which LA studio, I don't know. But this is the actual sound of a, a, a studio space somewhere in LA I'm, I'm presuming um, so let me just take that off a of bypass so you can hear it and let's have a listen okay let me turn the mix down a little bit let's go about 70 percent okay so let's have a listen to a different uh, impulse response. So if I go into um, into here, I can choose from a number of different physical locations. Um, you could take, for example, let's see, an Austrian concert hall. Let's try that out. Let's try a ballroom. Bring that back. Let's try uh, Viennese Hall. Maybe a catacomb. Some Dutch concert hall. An English chapel.
So there's just a little bit of a uh, there's just a little bit of a flavor of some of the impulse responses that ship with reverence, which is uh, as I mentioned, it's a part of Cubase, um, which if you haven't guessed by now is my DAW of choice. Um, now let's have a look a little bit at some of the controls here. So we have the ability in reverence to adjust the pre delay, uh, to adjust the size of the reverb tail, the level, uh, but very bit and a little bit of basic equalization, but very basic controls over this reverb. Um, there's some there's some depth that, uh, to which you can get into, but for the most part, convolution reverbs offer very general and basic tweaks to the impulse response because really it's the snapshot, it's the acoustic snapshot that we're dealing with. On an algorithmic reverb, you'd have all kinds of controls typically to really shape and dial in the sound that you're looking for. So I typically use convolution reverbs as my room type reverbs, like to simulate a real physical space if I want the mix, which was multi-tracked in an overdub process, to sound as if everyone was playing together and in the same physical space. I'll use a convolution reverb typically to achieve that, and then I'll use algorithmic reverbs for my longer more effective ambient type type sounds like a plate reverb for maybe a vocal or a snare drum or something like that so that's just a little quick explanation on what a convolution reverb is and we'll get a little more in depth uh, at mixlessons.com we'll see you there for more free video mixing quick tips visit www.mixlessons.com